Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Here, the High Court has found the elections watchdog gave incorrect spending advice to the official Brexit campaign during the EU referendum. The ruling is a blow to the Electoral Commission and has angered both the Leave and Remain campaigns. So let's go live now to our political correspondent, Michael Crick. Michael, tell us what's been going on. Well, in July, the Electoral Commission levied maximum fines on Vote Leave, the official pro-Brexit campaign during the referendum, for exceeding the legal £7 million spending cap by diverting surplus funds to another organiser, another campaign, which used the money to buy Facebook advertising through the firm AIQ. Now, Vote Leave justified this on the grounds they got an email advising them from the Electoral Commission that it was OK to uh, donate money to other campaigns without it counting towards their own expenditure. Well, today, two High Court judges decided that Electoral Commission advice had misinterpreted uh, the law, even though those judges felt that overall the Electoral Commission were right to decide that Vote Leave had broken the law for other reasons uh, and right uh, to uh, fine them. But Vote Leave are uh, pretty upset by this. Uh, Matthew uh, Elliott, one of their uh, leaders, said Vote Leave would not have made the donations that it did had it not been for the Commission's clear advice. They're also upset on the other side, uh, the Remain side. This is what the man who brought today's uh, uh, legal action uh, told me this afternoon. What we now know is that uh, the Electoral Commission, the body in charge of ensuring that the referendum was fair, has tilted the playing field in favour of Leave. It told Vote Leave, unlawfully we now know, that it could make donations to other Leave campaigns. It did not give that advice to Remain. Had it given that advice to Remain, Will Straw, who ran the Remain campaign, has said in writing that it too would have made donations. But of course the Electoral Commission never gave him that opportunity. Well, the Electoral Commission haven't decided yet whether to appeal, but they've been rather downplaying this judgment. They said today the High Court's findings do not change the conclusions reached in their investigation that Vote Leave exceeded their spending limit and failed to declare that additional spending. Michael, thanks very much.